I'm just I'm just leaving food lying. I ain't, I can't even make this stuff up. People think I don't know. I don't know what people think, but I know it's just crazy. But um, I was in the grocery store. I was checking out. We was in self checkout. There was a lady. She was um trying to keep her total under twenty bucks because that's all she had, and she had a, too many items on there. It was like twenty three dollars. So uh, she was trying to call a worker over there, and she was kind of upset about it. Not like being rude to anybody, but just upset that she miscalculated and was trying to get like she was just like arguing that this said this was three for a dollar or whatever and I was like you know what I just gave her a reach to my pocket and I gave her ten bucks right to finish her like to I just gave her ten bucks to work out the difference of what her total was she ended up going back in there and going shopping some more but uh I got back to my car just loaded my groceries and I'm not even kidding you this is how the, this is how stuff works out for me every time every time I bless somebody I get blessed back I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating look at this shit somebody just bought the uh religious sculpture the blessed Madonna assumption sculpture I got at that yard sale for six hundred dollars I as soon as I got to my car as soon as I got to my car, I got the notification that that blessed so that blessed sculpture sold. I don't know if people were believers in things or whatever. I am. I don't know. I've always been. When I was younger, my grandpa, me and my grandpa, we used to go to church, and at that, I don't want to. I, I think people will will find religion when they find it. Like, I've never, like, been one to, like, I don't even go to church every Sunday. Maybe I go to church two or three times a year, to be honest with you. I don't, but I I do believe, and I do pray for things, and I do pray for the good of other people. Um, I do believe in things like that, because I've seen it with my own eyes. But when I was younger, my grandpa used to take me to church, and I used to love it. I used to get dressed up. I used to go out try to find a good outfit. I'd find like a shirt and tie, and we wear slacks and iron our shit. And we go out, and it was just me and him. And at that point in time, when I was going to church, it was just kind of a thing to do with my grandpa because he was like the coolest person in the world to me. Get me a little upset talking about it because. He was a big, big role model in my life. He always was that person that was in my corner cheering me on for anything. I looked up to him. And, like, I think, like, later on in my life now, he was really just showing me that that was, like, a tool. Like, I don't know. Some There's a lot of people that are, like, church bashers and, like, things like that. And that's fine. I think people will come around to it. Or maybe they won't. But, like... There's points and times in my life where I've been so alone that that's all I had. Gets me a little upset to talk about it. But, you know, that's all I had was prayer. I have other people around me, so sometimes I had to say a prayer for things. I'm a big believer in things. I'm a big feeler, man. But, like, if I see other people down, I want to bring them up. And like, uh, but yeah, that was it. I mean, basically, there's signs in my life where I, feel, I don't know, just signs like that where I know that people are out there and they're watching over me and they just blessing me with the good that I do do in life. Like, I didn't go to the bins today, but I'm on my way to possibly pick up the best single clothing item I've ever found in my life. Possibly. 
And I say possibly because I don't know exactly what it is. And I have not been able to sleep for the past two days thinking about this thing. I won it on auction two days ago. All I could do it was in the photographs. It's basically the contents of this closet. And I could see a jacket hanging up. And I could just see a little part of it poking out. If it is what it is, I mean, they did remakes and stuff like that, but nothing in this house was new. Everything, it was like a time capsule house. It's like somebody, Grandpappy's house, man. It was like nothing in there was older than 90s. Mainly shit from like 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Don't go skipping forward either. We need to build the tension on this shit. All y'all TikTokers and people that just used to... This, nowadays, everybody's used to just getting instant satis satisfaction. Live in the moment for a minute with me here. Because I'm going to tell you right now. I have not slept in two days thinking about this thing. Can't sleep. At the moment I get... I start to close my eyes... I'm just like punched in the stomach at what this possibly could be. I'm serious. I don't get like this either. But I'm taking you all along on the ride with me. And we're gonna go unearth this thing. We don't waste any out too late Tuesday night. Woo! Let's go get this growl, baby. It's in there. Come on, baby. Let's go get this grail. I know it's in there. All right, we just got here. <clears throat> I gotta get a drink of water. Cause I might throw up. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go get the hats first. And then I'm gonna go get this other item. Because if it is what I think it is, I might throw up. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Look, I'm so fucked up. I was looking for my keys. They're in my damn hand. Uh, these are NASCAR wraps. Probably gonna put on this brickyard hat right now because I'm bricked up. You know what I'm saying? You might want to shake it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bricked up right now. You know what I mean? Okay. A lot more hats than I thought here. That don't matter. I've been on this one too, they got they got me on that. Yeah. Okay, what's your last name? Smithson? At the contents of the dining room closet.
We did it. I need you right now. Where you at? You in the middle of West Virginia or what? Hold on. Hey. My man. I think I found, I think I might have found my first, my best ever single item, clothing. Oh, uh, what is it? I'm here, I'm in here before then. So what is it? Oh my God. <laughs> and it fits. Hey. Your boy did it. All right, I just got back home. Let's just take a minute to look at this jacket. It's in really good shape. All the buttons, all the pleats are intact. Obviously the rivets. It's got the uh, big E one-sided red tab. I don't know if we could see that. It's just in really, really good shape. Uh, the leather back patch got dried and cracked off, but you could still see parts of it. Yep, all I could see in the all I could see in the pictures was basically a side view, and I could just see like one or two pleats. And I'm like, there's only one. There's only one jacket out there that has those kind of pleats. I mean, it could have been a knockoff or what, but when I was looking at all the photos in there. I'm like, nothing in this place is new. Like the newest thing in there was the race car hats, the 90s race. He probably had crazy t-shirts and stuff too, but they probably threw them all out. So I don't know, but I got I did get this shark tooth hat and some other NASCAR hats as you saw in the video. But look at the buckle back, the silver buckle back. I mean, this thing is just in grade A shape. I mean, I guess it'd be better if it had the back, the uh, the jerky, you know. But I measured it out; it's twenty-two and a half by twenty-two and a half, boxy. But I think that's how it's supposed to be. I I can't quite. I could button it up, but it looks too tight when I button it up. But I'm usually like an XL. I can stand lose a little bit of weight. And here it is on. And I got this. Dale Earnhardt shark tooth had it in a lot too. Don't forget about that. Your boy did it, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Ain't there nothing else about it. I'm just blessed, man. Type one. Who else doing it? I love y'all. Show some love, man. Send some. Give me some prayer hands in, in the. Uh, give me some prayer hands in the comment section. I love y'all. Stay blessed. I just gotta soak this in today. I did it. Type one. Experience I found out that um, God, it tests you. It tests you and see how, how much of this you can take before you say, let's just, just be finished with this. He wants to show you something. He wants to see how much you can take, how much you can handle of life. You say you love life, you want to live life. I'm going to show you life. Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. That's the purpose of life, just to enjoy what we had, what we journeyed through it. I needed it. We all do. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why do I have to go through this fear all the time? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then there wouldn't be life. We have to take life at its terms, life on life terms, not our, life on our terms.